hi guys welcome back <laughs> i know it has been it's been the longest time hasn't it i'm really really sorry that i haven't managed to get a sit down video done in what feels like it, it's got to be like six seven months i have to say um i've been doing vlogs and i've been doing regular what i eat in days but i don't actually remember the last time i sat down caught you guys up and also just showed you some things that i've been loving i feel like work and traveling and the kids and family life and just everything has just got in the way of me just sitting down and catching up with you guys which is what I wanted to do today I actually asked you on a poll would you prefer a catch up or a favorites video and a lot of you were like both so I thought we'd incorporate them today so it might be slightly longer and I kind of just have a chat with you see how you're doing let you know how I'm doing and what I've got coming up and what I've been up to while showing you some favourite things along the way. So I'm actually going to start with this mug. This mug brings me so much joy. I actually have some other mugs as well that I'm really loving, but this one is one that I've only got very recently and I put it on Instagram and a ton of you guys were asking about it. Now it's by the brand Anna and Nina. I got it from Anthropology and everything that I talk about, I'm gonna make a conscious effort to link below. I know I'm not normally good at that, but I will make the effort this time because it's a favourite, so I will show you, but love this mug, love the colour, love it that if it's a massive mug of coffee in, it's just perfect for me, especially when I'm working and I'm writing, caffeine is great. Um, so yeah, that's the mug <laughs> that I wanted to share, along with these mugs, which are actually from Anthropology. Um, how gorgeous are these? They're kind of like these candy cane swirled glasses and they come in a pack of four. You have the rose pink, which I love. And again, these are perfect for a small mug of coffee or a juice or anything really. You have this kind of rusty red brick color, which I think is my fave, along with the green, which I think is a very close second for me. I love a green mug, especially with my coffee. It just, I love the color combination. And also a blue which I don't love, could have done without it, but it's in the set, so it's fine. This is by the brand And K Amsterdam, and again, it came in a pack of four, and they were from Anthropology. Um, and then the last homeware pieces that I have are this candle from Neon. I've been loving at night, especially when I'm stressed, or my body's tired, or I'm aching, and I just wanna de-stress, I love getting in a bath, lighting a candle and just pampering myself, which is what you'll see in a lot of these products. Like I've just been really adoring skincare. Not as much makeup. I don't wear a ton of makeup. I've been loving blo a specific blush recently, which you guys will see I'm wearing today. But apart from that, everything's been pretty standard for me. But I have been enjoying sitting down, chilling out with a nice candle on or having a bath. And this candle, which is the Real Luxury by Neom, the scent, to, the scent to de-stress with lavender, jasmine and Brazilian rosewood is one that I've just been on it. I mean, I could literally just sit and exhale that. I literally could just sit and inhale this. It smells wonderful. And what I love about neon candles is that they're not a synthetic scent. You actually get the treatment that is promised, um, which is fantastic. So I've been loving that. And then the final homeware piece is probably one of my favorites i really love this because you guys know i love to bake and how nice is this cake slash cupcake stand now you can use this for pretty much anything i've got my eye on this for cheese at christmas time as well or just like mince pies or anything but it just looks so tim burton to me i just loved it i love quirky kitchen wares home wares things that you're not going to see on everyone's counter i just love um I actually have an order coming from Oliver Bonus and Anthropology. I picked up a few more things, but this I got from Rose and Grey, and I love it so much. I just think it's so quirky, and yeah, I love it. I don't know the brand of this, but again, I got it from Rose and Grey. I do believe they sell other brands apart from their own, though, so I will link it. I think it was about £50. The four mugs were about £54 for the four this big mug was a bit spenny, it was 25 but I think you can get it for less on other brands that sell Anna and Nina. I've seen it for 20 that's the lowest I've seen it for. Uh, but I got it from Anthropology, so I paid a bit more, because I didn't know. But I do love this, 
And then before I kind of catch up on some more things, before we get onto the favourites for the body and the face, um, this coffee. So I recently got myself a cafetiere for when I don't really want a machine coffee. I want to use, I want a fresh brewed coffee basically. And I was on the hunt to find a blend that I liked. So I tried Grind and it is delicious. It's really creamy, not creamy in like a creamy like dairy way, but just very smooth is what I want to say. So very kind of cashmere-y, very smooth, um, not too strong in flavour. You can get a stronger one. Um, but I just love the original. This is a house blend and I think it was about £8 for this bag, which I think is great, especially if you're just like me and wanting to try it. You've not really had home brewed coffee before that's not come out of a machine. Um, then this is a really nice flavour. It's not overpowering and I really do like it. I love this colour pink as well. The packaging, really love. <laughs> um, and I just literally sealed it with one of my baking... Um, pins. I use these little clippers for when I put baking paper on sheets, like on sheet pans, or if I put them on like square tins to make brownies or tray bakes. To secure the paper I'll pop these pins on and they are so handy, but they're also handy for sealing coffee and sealing other things around in your kitchen. So I've been loving that. Again, I think it was about £8 for the bag. So yeah, I just thought I'd have a chat with you before I go into the beauty favourites. So kids are well. I'm well, Andrew's well, which is great. We've just booked Disney. I am so, so excited. We're going to Disneyland Paris in the summer and I just cannot wait. I've never been to Disneyland before. The kids have never been before and I'm just very excited. We're actually going outside of term time. We requested some leave for Layla just because I think in the summer, in the height of summer in July, when everyone's off school, I just think it'll be too much for him personally. So we applied to take her in term time which they've agreed to which is amazing so really happy about that so we're taking them to Disneyland in June which we're very excited about and I think we might even book a winter break this year not too sure maybe we'll go on a city break I really fancy going to where is it Denmark I would really like to go to Denmark so I'm thinking about going on like a city break but taking the kids but I also was thinking about Lapland but it's really pricey for the four of us to go and have the winter experience that, you know, you go meet Santa, you feed the reindeers, you see the huskies. Um, it's like 1,200 a person and it's up for like three days. So I'm contemplating that. I'm still kind of wondering, because Disney was very, very expensive. You guys will know who's booked a Disney trip that you can really go to town because we're staying on the resort in a four-star hotel. So it was quite spenny, but... I feel like if you go into Disney, it's a once in a lifetime experience and I really want them to love it. So I've spared no expense and I'm very, very excited about that. So I am thinking about it, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a bit kind of pushing it, especially because we've got a few things we want to do to the house. We're gonna, we're starting to draw up plans for an extension. Although I think that's gonna take a couple of years to completely, to do what we want to do. We want to do a two-story extension. So we want to have the attic converted. We want a double dormer putting in. We want a dining room extending off the living room. And we want to extend Layla's bedroom completely. So we're contemplating like, what do we want to do? Do we want to move and go and buy a much bigger house? Like a forever home, like a nice converted barn or something? Or do we want to live here and just convert it into a, you know, five, bedroom house and that's what we're considering at the moment. I think because Andrew's parents live close by and my parents live close by and my siblings live close by and just everything is on our doorstep here, great commutes to work, it's just, I love it here, I really really do, I just wish it was a tiny tiny bit bigger in some areas, like it's not a small house but for a forever home I'd want certain things, like I'd want my own office, um, I want a big dining room, I want an attic conversion because I want to keep the massive bathroom that we have so there's just loads of things that we're thinking about and I think it's going to run into like the 100, 120,000 to do what I want to do so yeah we're thinking about renovations is what I mean and we're thinking about what we want to do and looking at plans and seeing what's possible what we might need planning permission for I also want the front door and the door frame of the front of the house completely changing I want a Victorian stained glass door putting in there's just so much that I want to do. Obviously, it's going to take 
years for me to get the house where I want it but the great thing is we're not in a rush it's perfectly fine as it is at the moment it's a beautiful house and we're just very very lucky that we have the opportunity so that's the things that we're thinking about with the house and we're just very excited for all of these plans to start to come into fruition um Harrison's doing really well Harrison is a teenager now if you guys can believe it he is a teenager like it's like having a man walking around the house his voice is broke he sounds he sounds like a mini bloke like he's not mini he's as tall as Andrew he's nearly six foot and he's 13 he's in a size nine shoe so he towers over me and he's just he's magic his behavior and his for anyone who doesn't know for anyone new Harrison is autistic so it's not the most typical parenting journey that we have and everything like that but honestly he's just doing so so well in school and don't get me wrong he's had difficulties he has good days and bad but generally he's doing great school work is going fantastic um so yeah Harrison's doing really really well but you'll notice him less and less in my videos if I'm honest because he just doesn't want to be on camera a lot of the time which is perfectly fine I'd never push him into it um, Layla is still wanting to be in vlogs sometimes and happy to kind of be in vlogs but Harrison's a bit more like no <laughs> which is perfectly fine I respect his space and if he ever wants to be in them he can but what you may notice on my Instagram and on my channel is that Harrison features much less because he doesn't like posing for photos he doesn't like um, being in vlogs and that kind of thing but he's doing incredibly well at school he's taught himself to code he's just very very intelligent and very focused and he's going to do amazing things and we're just so so proud so yeah harrison's doing really well like i said doesn't mean to say it's not with his challenges it absolutely is you know no two days are ever completely the same so that is quite difficult um the temper tantrums not tantrums really but the meltdowns are they hit home a lot more they last much longer they're much kind of fiercer so it's a challenge but also it's you know he's doing great and i think considering the difficulties that he sometimes faces and the sensory overload he's doing remarkably well and he loves it here he's settled into his new i say new home we've been here a year and a half i want to say or like a year and eight months which is very exciting actually um, and he's just settled in so so well there's a lot of space there's a big garden so he just loves it um so yeah that's going well Lael's is doing well um Layla is such a character she's developed into such a mini me it's so so funny like she's just she's just so sassy it's so funny um so yeah she's in year five if you can believe it she's going into year six this year which i am totally not ready for i've been actually having a few meltdowns recently because i'm thinking oh my god this time next year i'll be prepping her for high school and i do not know if i or her are physically and emotionally ready for that <laughs> but it is what it is that's happening next year which is very exciting for her she's doing well in school she's Sorry, I've got to drink it or it'll go cold. But yeah, she's she's doing really well. Um, she's taking piano lessons. She's been taking piano lessons since I think mid last year, and she actually performed in the Christmas concert. And we were honestly, it was such a love actually moment where the kids were all performing. It was lovely. And um, so she's kept up with that. She's starting horse riding lessons soon. So there's just so much going on. Every weekend is cram packed. It's busy busy they've got better social lives than I have there's always a party there's always something happening and yeah it's it's lovely but honestly it's it's busy but speaking of busy I've also been really busy with work works going amazingly well I love it so so much for any of you that don't know I'm a professional writer so I'm a UX writer so I take technical information and I make it simple for people to read and digest that's basically what I do so I'm an editor really um and i love it i absolutely love it um i can't fault it really i just love it i love my team i love i only have to go into the office one day a week so the rest of the time i work from home which is perfect for me and it's just such it's just such a great environment for me and it's really brought me out of my shell my anxiety is much much less i actually don't take medication for anxiety anymore which is I think the last time I sat down with you guys, I was on medication, I was on search, really, I think 150 milligram. But I've not been on that now for 
about a year which is amazing so I'm just doing incredibly well um, so um, yeah and Andrew's doing great we're all doing great and I just wanted to sit down and catch you up because like I said it's been the longest time anyway and um, before I keep babbling on let's look through some more favorites so I'm going to move on to beauty and skincare again I've been more concentrating on my skincare as opposed to makeup so let's start with bath care this was actually a gift from a colleague and i absolutely love it um it's beautiful she also got me the white company bath tray that you will have seen on instagram the wooden one and it's gorgeous uh, i was on a wait list for so long to get that bath tray i found out why molly may has it and she shared it on her instagram and in a vlog and it sold out since before christmas um, and she knew i really wanted it and she got me one and it was so lovely and to go with it she got me this which is the white company london spa Restore luxury bath oil with geranium, neroli, and eucalyptus. This is, it's just next level, and I hope that they do refills for it because I really, I, I'll be buying it straight away again. I love it. I love how soft and supple it makes my skin feel, and it doesn't feel greasy, and I just adore it. So I've been really loving that. Um, another skincare product that's been really helping me exfoliate my body, especially at the moment, because I've been self-tanning a bit more. I'm mean, a bit pale at the moment, um, but I have been self-tanning. And I use the Sunday Riley Charcoal Smooth Smoothie sorry, Jelly Body Scrub. I mean, it was the packaging of this, this holographic packaging that suckered me in. Disclaimer, I really rate Sunday Riley skincare. In fact, my whole skincare routine, apart from my cleanser, is Sunday Riley. Um, so I have the glow serum, which the glow oil, which is actually here. Um, one of my favorite products. I love it so, so much. It's a vitamin C and turmeric facial oil, and it's just heaven. It makes my skin feel supple and soft, and fine lines and wrinkles are dramatically reduced, and it energizes me. It makes me look awake. It makes me look alert. It just is gorgeous in every which way, and the scent is beautiful. But I just really love Sunday Riley products. I also have the serum and the moisturiser, the eye cream. My whole skincare routine is pretty much Sunday Riley. The only exception to that is my cleanser, which is the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, which I've been using for years. But apart from that, when it comes to body and skincare, like facial skincare, everything I have is either Estee Lauder or Sunday Riley. And I'm happy with that. I feel like my skin's been playing ball although I am just about due that time of month so I have had a little breakout here which is what it is the next product I have is something I got from Berlin and I love this so much for two reasons it reminds me of Berlin but also the scent of this is beautiful and it's by Rado Mojave Ghost and this is a hand and nail cream so I made the recent mistake of getting nails done I don't know what they're called where they basically extend your nails and put this really hard stuff on and because I just don't do too well with having things stuck on that aren't my own I as soon as I could start to see my own natural nail coming through I meant like mentally struggled having them on and didn't cope with it very well and started to mess about with them took them off didn't take them off properly and it has completely savaged my nails and um, so I'll never get that done again I'm waiting for the the damaged nail to kind of grow out which is why they're never long at the moment um normally my nail my natural nails were really lovely as well that's why i'm kicking myself because my natural nails are so nice i did it for a treat and i totally regret it because it has wrecked and it's going to take i would say to the end of this year for that to completely grow out and i can start fresh um moral of the story is unless you're going to keep it up and you don't mind seeing that horrible and it wasn't even much i'm talking about a week and I just couldn't cope with it. Anyway, to kind of repair my hands and nails, I've been using this and it's beautiful. The scent is gorgeous. It's very light, very sexy, very clean, classic. They do this in a perfume and I'm very, very tempted to pick it up because I just love the scent of it so much. Um, so yeah, that is a 30 mil and it's just great for popping in my handbag. And any more skincare? Yes, yeah, so this is kind of a makeup slash skincare hybrid. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I freaking love this. It's just, do you know what? It's great for setting your makeup, but I also wear it before I apply makeup. So I put my moisturizer on, I put my serums on, then I will let everything dry. And just before I put my makeup on, 
I spritz this all over my face, go make coffee, come back and do my makeup, and it's just chef's kiss. It's amazing. I love it. And then I'll just use it throughout the day just to refresh myself or... I just really rate this stuff. It's not sticky and I do feel like it gives a beautiful luminosity. I just really enjoy it. The scent is lovely as well. And this lasts a really long time. Like honestly, I've been spritzing this for fun and I've hardly even scratched the surface. There's no melting, no fading, no creasing. Big, big fan of that. Um, the last couple of makeup products I have are... I kind of feel like a bit of an asshole showing you this because it's sold out internationally but I cannot tell you the amount of people that have asked me recently what blush I'm wearing. Um, I've been doing a slightly stronger pop of blush recently and a lot of you guys have noticed it because I don't really wear blush if I'm if I'm honest so I think it's that's made it more noticeable but I've had so many questions about what blush I've been using. It's sold out internationally and it has been sold out since before Christmas. I was so lucky to get this as a gift, Andrew. I actually know someone who works for Hourglass and I managed to track one down and have it sent to my home. Or Andrew did for my Christmas present. But it's the Ambient Tiger Palette. It's gorgeous. Again, I feel like a bit of an arse showing it you guys because at present, unless you were to buy it pre-owned, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to find it right now. But it is... I mean, it's every level of gorgeous. It's just beautiful. And the blush that I've been using is this orange one here. And it's very, very strong. I'm not going to focus. It's just, it's just beautiful. And hourglass powders are so seamless. They are so ethereal looking and celestial almost. They just, they're just wonderful. And I love it so, so much. But again, Sorry to be that person that shows you something and says you can't get it. But I wanted to mention it because not only have I been loving it, but I've been getting a ton of questions as to what blush I've been using. I'm sure you'll be able to find something remotely similar somewhere. Um, but as of yet, it's my favourite blush of all time, which is a bold statement. Um, the last thing I've been loving is I've been preferring to use a powder foundation recently just because... I think it's more comfortable, especially from working from home. And I think especially as we head into the warmer months, it's nicer to wear something that is a little less sticky. And I've been using this, and this is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Golden Beige. And I also got the Kabuki brush. That It, it is separate, you buy them separate, but they work well together. And this brush has kind of a divot in the middle. You'll see here that it's like, there's a divot for the powder to go in. So it's nice and... It applies nice and evenly and it's so so soft and I love it and I'm wearing it today and I just yeah I love that and then the final things are hair care products so this one I have a love hate thing about it I love it it's perfect it's the best I've ever used in the category and I wish I had it all of the time the reason I hate it is because it's so freaking expensive and do you know I think it's worth the money I think it's worth the money and it's a living proof perfect hair day shampoo now this is the massive 355 mil this is either 30 or 40 pounds a bottle now before you're like oh my god that's insane that's ridiculous you basically just wash your hair already go go and wash your hair like why I've been using dry shampoo for I would say years and years and years especially in the summer and what they do is they'll dry your hair out slightly they'll give it a bit of texture but they don't clean your hair they just mask everything they just mask the scent this actively cleans hair eliminates sweat odor on oils this has made me go from washing my hair twice a week to washing my hair once a week and I would even say it doesn't need washing when I wash it. I'm doing it because I know I should wash it. It is that good. When I first bought this, Andrew winced. He was like, oh, that is expensive. He uses it and he's like, it's worth the money. And it absolutely is. So if you're thinking about it, or if you really want to save yourself washing your hair, if you're one of those people that has to wash your hair every day, invest in this because you don't need much a little bit goes a long long way we've had this for ages i use it layla uses it andrew uses it and i would say i have at least up to here left and some tk maxx's do sell it if you're lucky enough to find it i actually got this one from tk maxx and i paid 25 or 20 for this when it should have been 30 or 40 which again is still spenny 
but as soon as this runs out i'm going to go back and see if they have any more if not i will order it full price because it's that good and then the final hair care product i have i got from selfridges when i went to berlin i wanted to go and get loads of minis of stuff that i use in full size just so i wasn't taking all my full size products and this is the way wave spray i love it so much um, obviously you guys can see that naturally my hair is quite wavy and very surfery bed heady um, I have been having it straight, not yeah, straight recently, and I do get it blow dried and I blow dry it myself. But when I'm on holiday like I am now and I don't want to put much effort in, this is how I have it. I just have it all natural, massive, big hair, don't care. And that is just a really nice way of giving me more defined two soles and waves in my hair, with of course a fresh scent as well. It's not oily, it's not sticky, doesn't make my hair go hard, it's very, very soft and i love it it's really really nice so that is everything apart from i've saved the best till last i i've got a new teddy blake and i'm so lucky because this actually got sent to me and i do have discount codes for this and for the site in general and i will pop that in the description but i wanted to show you the bag that i've chosen and i will be wearing this tonight when i go out for the first time and i am so so excited but look at this beauty look how gorgeous she is it's this beautiful beige croc style bag and it's just it's it's just beautiful it comes with a strap as well and it's that beautiful suede on the inside and i just it's got a lock and key it's beautiful to carry like this but also beautiful with the strap which i keep in the dusk bag um it's got a really lovely strap which i think i do prefer a strap for the most part i think that for me um i do like to be hands-free a lot of the time but i just i love this bag so much i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait to wear it properly tonight i really can't it's a beautiful color it feels amazing quality my favorite bag that i own apart from my lv bag my basic bag that i wear all of the time is a teddy blake and it's a black one with a red lining you guys have seen it you've seen me wear it a ton and i can vouch for the quality the craftsmanship they are incredible so if you do want to treat yourself or a loved one i would definitely recommend a teddy blake bag they are second to none and they are just stunning so that's is all of my favourites. I hope you've all enjoyed catching up. Let me know how you guys are in the comments. I'm off this week, so I'm going to try to reply to as many people as possible and pop links in this video. But thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry we didn't get to do fashion. I just feel like we'll be here forever if I was to do fashion as well. Perhaps I'll do a haul slash favourites on fashion soon. Let me know if you'd enjoy that. But yeah, if you want to see these more frequently, more sit down videos where I show you products that I've been loving and everything like that then leave a comment give it a like and i'll see you in my next video